What we are trying to do is to modernize the immigration law and in that way kind of harmonize it with our constitutional law as well as our values in other contexts. My name is Ahilan Arulanandam and I'm a human rights attorney. The immigration law and the protections that we afford to immigrants facing deportation are sort of stuck in the 19th century. People don't have a right to a lawyer. Um, you can be uh, detained, but in a prison, so it's essentially like being imprisoned uh, without trial for years on end. In every deportation case, it's considered a civil case. And that means that the protections that we take for granted in the criminal system don't apply in deportation cases. If you told people that someone who's the defendant is not going to have a lawyer, I think most people would say that's very odd. It doesn't make a lot of sense. And I find the same thing is true on the detention side. For example, my uh, client, Mr. Rodriguez, who's in the case that's going to the Supreme Court, you know, was, was detained for three and a half years while his immigration case was pending. I think a lot of people find that very disturbing. Rodriguez is a challenge to the government's uh, policy of detaining people for very long periods of time without giving them hearings in front of judges who can just decide whether they have to be locked up. And there's all kinds of people in that position. Others are refugees who are stopped at the border fleeing persecution. And while their refugee cases are getting decided, they also have to stay imprisoned. So Rodriguez is a challenge to that. We won the preliminary order in the fall of 2012, which required several hundred people just in the Southern California area to get hearings. Eventually we won it in the, the Court of Appeals, which extended that rule to the entire Western United States. And thousands of people have gotten out of detention as a result. So what we are doing is transformative, it is different. It's not just a matter of applying existing legal rules straightforwardly to a set of violations of those rules. Uh, we are asking for the government to, in certain areas, transform the way it approaches its treatment of people facing deportation. I think you expand rights by pointing to ways in which the system is most irrational and in conflict with our values more generally. I come from a family of immigrants and really from a family of refugees, and I think that informs my work in a very basic, um, fundamental way. Public policy is complicated. The immigration law is extremely complicated. But I think that um, if people could approach it from the perspective of just seeing and remembering uh, that these are people, that it could be them, uh, it could be you in that same position, and then how would you approach it? And that's, that's really the one thing I would want people to do.